Hello, it's Mr Baglin again. Welcome to this online numeracy lesson. Today we're going to be learning about one of the four number operations. Division. Before we begin, we are going to practice some of our times tables. Are you ready? Right, table trimmers, where are we? Outside in the rain, sir. And table trimmers, which table are we tackling today? The three times table, sir. And why, table trimmers? Are we tackling the three times table? Because it's freezing, sir. <laughs> That's sick. Table trippers, who are you? Table trippers, table trippers, learning as we march along. Table trippers, table trippers, with this three times table song. Troopers marching in multiples of three. Go! Three, six, nine, twelve. Three, six, nine, twelve. Fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four. Fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four. Twenty-seven, thirty, thirty-three, thirty-six. Twenty-seven, thirty, thirty-three, thirty-six. Troopers only marching in multiples of three. Go! Three, three six, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty, thirty-three, thirty-six. Table troopers, table troopers, learning as we march along. Table troopers, table troopers, with this three times table. A table thanks. Three times one is what? Three, three times, times one is three. Three times two is what? Three, three times, times two is six. Three times three is what? Three, three times, times three is nine. Three times four is what? Three, three times four, four is twelve. Three times five is what? Three, three times five is fifteen. Three times six is what? Three, three times six is eighteen. Three times seven is what? Three times seven is twenty-one. Three times eight is what? Three, three times, times eight, eight is twenty-four. Three times nine is what? Three, three times nine, nine is twenty-seven. Three times ten is what? Three, three times, times ten is thirty. Three times eleven is what? Three, three times, times eleven is thirty-three. Three times twelve is what? Three, three times twelve is thirty-six. Table troopers, table troopers, learning as we march along. Table troopers, table troopers, with this three times table song. Right, troopers, time for trooper table testing. Three times three is what? Three times three is nine. Three times four is what? Three times four is twelve. Three times two is what? Three times two is six. Three times ten is what? Three times ten is thirty. Three times nine is what? Three times nine is twenty-seven. Three times seven is what? Three times seven is twenty-one. Three times eleven is what? Three times eleven is thirty-three. Three times five is what? Three times five is fifty. Three times six is what? Three times six is eighty. Three times twelve is what? Three times twelve is thirty-six. Three times eight is what? Three times eight is twenty-four. Three times one is what? Three times one is three. Table troopers, table troopers, learning as we march along. Table troopers, table troopers, with this three times table song. Table troopers, table troopers, learning as we march along. Table troopers, table. Time and time again, you are proving to be totally 
terrific and tremendously talented table trippers. Oi, sir, my mum won't be happy. My vest is wet. Don't be a drip. That's not very funny. I'm soaked. Did you enjoy Table Troopers? I hope so. We always have lots of fun singing and dancing to it in the classroom. At parents' evening, you were all given a home learning pack. Can you find your pencil and some squared paper? First, I would like you to write the target shown below at the top of your page. During the lesson, I will be asking you to complete some examples on your sheet of squared paper. I would like you to pause the video. You'll see an icon on the screen like this. When I have given you a task to do, this will give you time to write your answer. Are you ready? In the last lesson, I introduced you to the short division or bus stop method for division. It relies quite a lot on your knowledge of times tables. Not a problem for us, as we've been practising every day in our online lessons. But Mr B, what do we do if we have some left over? I hear you say. I'm glad you asked. We solved the division calculation just as before, but we have to write down the remainder, just like this. Well, I'm really glad you asked the question about, <coughs> excuse me, remainders. So let's have a look at an example. OK, so we've got, uh, let's have a think, 35. divided by 2 equals. Now again, quite an easy one for us to see and to use as an example. And hopefully you thought, oh, hang on, I think there's going to be one left over here because my knowledge of number is such now that I can see that I've got an odd number divided by 2. And odd numbers don't divide equally by 2. So there's going to be something left over, isn't there? Anyway, let's find out. So I'm not going to use any different colours, but we set our bus stop short division. So we put the big number here. So we've got 35. And then we enclose that in our bus stop. And this is our division sign, effectively. And then we put the number that we're dividing outside of the bus stop. So everything that's inside is going to be operated on by the number that's outside of the bus stop. So we look at this number three. How many twos go into three? Yeah, well, I've got one, two, lot of two in three, and there's one left over. So we put that one left over here. Okay. So this, it's, it's, a diff, it's a tricky one to think of, but we're dealing with tens here. So we have to think of this as like tens. How many lots of ten, two lots of ten go into three lots of ten? It goes in once with one lot of ten left over. And we move that one lot of ten into the ones. Now, when we're thinking of this one, we, we almost think of this as now like a ones number. So how many ones, how many twos go into 15? How many twos go into 15? How many lots of two are there in 15? Well, we can't divide it by half, can we? So let's do it in our heads. We've got one, two, 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 four, three, two, two, six, four, two, two, eight, five, two, two, ten, six, two, two, twelve, seven, two, two, fourteen, eight, two, two, sixteen. So 
2 goes into 15 seven times, but we've got one left over, and we write it there. So I've used my knowledge of times tables, two in this particular case, to get up to that number. And there's absolutely nothing wrong, as far as I'm concerned, in working through your times tables until you reach the number or you go past the number. It's great if you can have that immediate snap. Well, I know that eight twos are 16 and seven twos are 14. So it's got to be seven twos remainder one. But if you need to go through your times tables in your head, I still can't see that there's a there's a problem with that. So it really is as simple as that. But as I've stated in the slide before and through our work yesterday, this now is beginning to rely quite heavily on your knowledge of times tables. We'll be using, as yes, in, in the last lesson, times tables that we know and that we've been practicing, okay? And obviously I've got my sum open here. So 35 divided by two is 17, remainder one. Okay, so we've got a few more to have a little practice at, and then you're gonna have a go on your own. Look at this calculation. Okay, so the next example we're going to have a look at is 64 divided by 5. Okay, so we've got 64. And we're dividing that by 5. Okay, so writing it out as our bus stop. We've got a big number there. Inside the bus stop. And we're dividing, this is our division sign, by five. Okay. So again, some of you are probably getting that good with your times table. You recognize, hmm, divided by five, Anything in the five times table ends in a naught or a five. So this, there's something a bit fishy about this one. Okay, so let's work it out. We've got six lots of 10. How many times does five go into this six? How many times does five go into six? There's one lot of five in six, isn't there? And there's one left over. Yeah. So now we do the same. We've got 14. How many lots of five go into 14? So we've got one's five is five, two fives are 10, three fives are 15. So we can't go to 15, three. So this got to be two lots of five with how many left over? You've got it. There's four left over, isn't there? Now, one thing that we very often do, lots of the examples we use have one as a remainder. And one of the common problems or one of the common things that we do wrong, we think, oh, there's a remainder. It must be one. It doesn't quite work like that. It's how many you have left over for that specific sum that you're working on. OK. So in this case, we've got two lots of five is 10, but we've actually got 14. So we've got two lots of five and there's four left over. So our answer for 64 divided by five is 12. Oops. Remainder, four. Five, 12 times, or the, the, the 12 times any sum is one of those times tables, certainly with me, sticks in my mind. I know that 12 lots of two is 24, 12 lots of three is 36, 12 lots of four is 48. There are certain times tables that almost you, you get a bit of a hook, they stick in your mind. 10 times something is always 
a good one. If you know 10 times your times table, you know what five times is. You can have it, can't you? Just the same as if you know what two times something is, then really, if you double that, you know what four times something is. And you know what eight times something is, because you need to double the four times. So all of the times table practice that you're doing with your twos, fives and tens, we know. But we're practicing threes and fours and eights. So really, if you know your threes, you should be able to work out your sixes as well, because double the answer for a three times table is six. Again, I sound as if I keep on going on, but times tables are so important. And it's so important that we learn those times tables. Let's look at another calculation. 43 divided by 3. Mm, this, is, this is one that perhaps doesn't scream at us in a times table. So I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to suggest um, that we can we really do this in our heads. So let's do it with our new fantastic written method. So we put the big number inside that bus stop and we're dividing it, dividing by three. Yeah. So simply, how many lots of three are there in four? There's one. And how many left over? I've got to add one to three to get to four. So that one goes in there. Now we think of our three times table when we're dividing into 13. And we're thinking of times tables, we know that because it's the opposite, it's the inverse, isn't it? So whenever we're dealing with division sums, we can think of the inverse multiplication to help us to work it out. So let's do our three times table. We've got one, three is three, two, three is a six, three, three is a nine, four, three is our 12, four, three is a 12, four lots of three a 12, five lots of three, of 15. So I know that 3 goes into 13 four times. And I know that 3 four times is 12. So that means my remainder is. Yep, you got it. I heard someone shout it out. There's one left over. 14 times. Uh, 14, 43. Divided by 3 is 14 remainder 1. So we need to finish our calculation off here. 14 remainder 1. We can use our inverse of division multiplication. Let's work it out. 3 tens of 30. 3 fours of 12. 30 and 12 is 42. Plus this one is 43. Something we need to get into the habit of doing. Checking our answer by using the inverse number operation. In this case, we're dividing, so we check our answer using multiplication. Okay. Excellent work, well done. Look at this calculation. Some for this example. We're going to use 55 divided by 4 equals. You can start thinking about times tables. Oh, do I, can, can I tell whether this is in my times tables? Generally, we only go up to 12 times, don't we, for our times tables? But I've got a sneaky suspicion. Because this is being divided by four, I think this would have to be an even number. Because if you divide something by two, equally, it's got to be an even number. So that by that measure, 
you divide it by four, it's going to have to be an even number as well. So I think there might be a remainder left for this one as well. But let's find out. So using our fab new method, we write our 55 in. There's our division sign. If you want to use a ruler, but I think we've been practicing this quite a, quite a lot now. So you should be getting quite used to drawing straight lines without a ruler. And we put the number that we're dividing by, the divisor, outside of those brackets, outside of the division sum, not brackets. And we start to divide. I've got five. How many times does four fit into five? Yeah, I've got one lot of four in five, haven't I? So I've got that one lot of four goes into five and I've got, yep, one left over. Well done. I'm hearing you. I think you're, you're doing it before I'm actually doing it. And now we've got to divide 15 by four. Now, thinking of my times tables, where I'm used to writing them out and we had times table trooping and all that sort of stuff. I can almost visualize in my mind's eye what that four times table looks like. And I've got a bit of an uh oh moment here. I can't remember 15 being in there, but let's just let's just use our times table. So we've got four, eight, that's two times, three times is twelve, four times four is sixteen. So twelve or sixteen. So one is below. So so I think here we've got four three times which is 12 and i've got a remainder 12 remainder three so here's another example where the remainder isn't one so you can't just go well there's a remainder it's got to be one it's always one lots of the examples might be one But some of them aren't so you need to be quite secure in your maths and children i'll say again i'm really really pushing you with this method of division okay but i think it's a really important one that you at least get to see what it looks like and if you can complete these well your numeracy skills are flying so as I've got this open, I need to close it off, don't I? And I need to put my answer in, one digit per square. Then I'm adding my remainder three. If you're feeling really saucy, you can check your answer. So we can multiply this by four, can't we? So we've got four lots of 10 is 40, yeah. Four lots of three is 12, plus that 40 is 52. Then I need to add this three onto it to get to 52, 53, 54, 55 gets me back to there. So I know using my inverse checking, using the inverse of division multiplication, that my answer is correct. I think you might be ready to try one on your own. What do you think? Have a go at this calculation on your own. Set it out with the big number inside the bus stop. Then see how many times a divisor, the number outside the bus stop, goes into the tens number. Write your answer on top of the bus stop. Carry any number left over into the ones column and see how many times a divisor goes into that number. And write that answer above the bus stop. Remember there might be a remainder to include in your answer. Off you go. How did you get on? So let's see how you did. Okay. For some that we were going, that you tried on your own. 53. Divided by 4. I know that you've written the big number there and you've added your division bus stop 
around it and you've written the divisor outside of that sum, outside of that uh, division bracket. I'm confident that you've looked at this five and you thought mm, four goes into five one time. And I know that you have thought that you've got one left over and you've put it there. I also know that you've used your four times table to divide into 13. So I'm quite confident that you've gone four, you've got an eight, you've got a 12, and you've got four fours of 16. So 12 is below, 16 is over. So I've got, I know that three lots of four is 12, but I've got 13, which means I've got one left over. Big pat on the back if you've got it right. Yours might not look like mine. Where might you have gone wrong? Have a look to see where yours doesn't look like mine. Okay. This one, the remainder is one. Maybe you got your four times tables a bit muddled up. And you've got the wrong number here. Okay, but as I've said, this relies an awful lot on your growing times tables skills. Times table that we know, times table that we've practiced. Hopefully, you've been practicing. Okay. Big pat on the back if you've got it right. If yours doesn't look like that, where did you go wrong and can you make yours look like that as a good example of what one of these sums would look like? Because dun, 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 you're going to be doing some independently. OK. Your target today is I can use short division to solve division number problems, including remainders. Set it out with the big number inside the bus stop. Then see how many times a divisor, the number outside the bus stop, goes into the tens number. Write your answer on top of the bus stop. Carry any number left over into the ones column and see how many times a divisor goes into that number. And write that answer above the bus stop. Remember there might be a remainder to include in your answer. Your target today is I can use short division to solve division number problems, including remainders. Follow these steps to ensure that you're successful. Set out the calculation with the big number inside the bus stop. Then see how many times a divisor goes into the tens number. Write your answer on top of the bus stop. Carry any number left over into the ones column and see how many times the divisor goes into that number. Then write that answer above the bus stop. Remember there might be a remainder to include in your answer. When you have finished, check your work against the answers on the next page. Did you meet the criteria? How did you get on? If you would like to complete some independent work, then log on to TT Rockstars for times tables or Purple Mash for some maths games. Thank you for your hard work today. 
I would love to see the results of your hard work. Send your calculations to me at school. You can use any of the ways you can see on the screen, WhatsApp, email or postbox. I'll see you again soon for some more numeracy tomfoolery.